So we finished importing all of our points and all of our points are in the appropriate point groups. You'll notice that we're in the 05 points-1 drawing which is located in your tutorials folder. And if we look within our settings, within our tool space, you'll see that if we click on point and we look at our description key sets, go ahead and right click on our stormwater keys then go into edit keys. Now you can see that with our storm manhole points, we've reformatted the raw description to say storm manhole, as you can see right here within this particular point. And in fact, we've also put these points on the appropriate layer. You can see that we have this layer set at V node storm. If we click on our point and within our properties, that's the layer that this object is currently on. Go ahead and close down your panorama palette by clicking this green checkbox. Now, as I'm looking at my drawing, there's just so much going on. How can you make heads or tails of any of these points that are shown here. There's just too much information that's being displayed on the screen. Well, how do we kind of remedy that? Well, if you remember from a previous exercise, we got into our all points point group. And if we right click and select properties, if you remember, we put our point label style on standard. Well, standard, it's a little bit too busy. What if I switch this to none? and then click apply. Now all of those point numbers and descriptions, it kind of cleans up the drawing a little bit so that I can actually see the storm manhole points as well as some of my pond points. So the point group display order is what's dictating what I'm seeing on my screen right now. So for example, any point group that's on top, that point group style will be applied first. So as you can see, I've got my detention pond point group right here and I'm seeing this display and we'll check out what that style looks like. And the point label style looks like this. We've got point number, elevation, and description. Well, what if I wanted to match what I'm seeing for the all points group? If I go into my point groups and right click and select properties, I can select my detention pond and bring that all the way down to the bottom by clicking this button. Then click Apply. Once I press OK, you'll see that those descriptions vanish because this point group for my detention pond is taking on or inheriting the properties of the point style for the All Points group. Let's go ahead and apply the All Points point group style to all of our points. We'll right click on our point groups and select Properties and then we'll move storm manholes all the way down to the bottom, then click apply, then OK. Now the storm manhole point group is inheriting or taking on the style of the all points point group. So like I said before, the point group that's on top, that style will be applied first to the rest of the point groups. And that's one of the ways that you can use reordering your point group styles to your advantage.